Oh, hi. Hey, you caught me enjoying a cup of coffee from Himalayan Coffee Importers. This is Jalpa Gold from Himalayan Coffee Importers. This one is made with Himalayan snow melt water. It's amazing. That's what the beans are grown with. This is such a, a fantastic cup of coffee and such a fantastic company that I involved a couple other people on this review. I guess you would call it a review of the coffee. Yeah, you review coffee. Uh, I got Benji and Rob in from a podcast I'm part of, the Finding Joy podcast. As a matter of fact, you can hear the better part of that review on that podcast, but we also shot some video. So let's go to that video, our review of Jalpa Gold from Himalayan Coffee Importers. That's coffee beans. That's coffee, coffee. beans. I've had these sitting in my office for way too long. So mm -hmm. this outfit, Himalayan Coffees, contacted me just out of the blue, wondering if I would be interested in reviewing some of their coffee. <laughs> Twist your arm on that one, huh? <laughs> so they sent me this uh, Jal Jalpa Gold from Nepal, the beans, and then two smaller packs of, of ground coffee. Okay. Uh, this is single estate. It's medium roast. And according to the back of the package... Oh, I love this description. The sweetest of our roast, this well-balanced, full-bodied roast, has intense aromas and vibrant flavors of jasmine, smooth caramel, and pears. Okay. I'll buy 10 bags. Yeah. <laughs> They're $25 for a 12 ounce bag. Okay. Wow. Oh, that better be so, yeah. good. <laughs> yes. So I'll I'll put gold. So okay. So I move over here. And All I, right. I haven't even opened this yet because it's like air sealed. Right. Or whatever. Will you? And it's 25 yeah. bucks a bag. And it's 25 so bucks a bag. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. You know what? worth it. Rob, this is your grinder. It's okay. Not, yes. All right. And it suggests uh, two tablespoons or 10 grams for every six ounce cup. So what is that? Okay, so basically it would be six scoops of beans. Is this yeah. a tablespoon or is this bigger? That's, it it's, would be about a tablespoon, yes. Okay. Yeah. So the, and the beans are going to translate to ground, right? Right. Yeah, you need, yeah, we'll need to do this because this is going to be for a, a drip coffee maker. It'll need to be on a uh, finer setting. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Of course, you usually do um, French press or um, or pour over, and for uh, for uh, a drip uh, coffee maker, usually it's a, a a medium or a fine. Yeah, you go super fine if you do an espresso. Right. That's not, what I couldn't. We're think not going to be that as yeah. fancy today. All right. Okay, I wonder, are those tablespoons or are those? I don't know. Okay. It may be a little bit bigger. What do you think? I think it's bigger. A little bigger, yeah. So you probably yeah. can. Well, Three you can. Five. Yeah, it should shake a little bit off of that one. I don't want to waste the beans at $25. No, 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 no. <laughs> you get it back in the. Okay, you're. It's yeah. like a medium roast. On those. Yes, it, it does. Is yeah. Roast, okay. All right, so I want to do this. Like that, and then turn that dial. Yes. Go a little. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, one more click, one more? I would say. This is what I found in this right. coffee, uh, this uh, grinder. Um, All right, and then okay, the switch on the, the side there. All right. Sniff test. Social distancing. Mm. <laughs> oh, man, that smells really good. Oh, that is nice. Actually, that is nice. Yeah, shake it in there, right? All right. That's good. <laughs> That's an easy mistake to make at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And turn on the heat. Yep. There we go. Turn on the heat. All right, so now we just wait for a couple of minutes, and we should have coffee, and uh, we'll sit down and taste it. There we go. All right. Cool. Okay, yep. There we go. Okay. All right, the coffee appears to be done. It's done. It, uh, I don't know, Rob, if you can get a little video. That looks very dark. It actually looks a little light to me, but... Really? It yeah. What you do you think? What do you think, Benji? It. I, it looks uh, it looks kind of dark. But All right, well, we'll find out. What happens with it? Smells good. I notice Rob's cup already has some half and half in it. Yes, I have you to have... this up to the... Uh, the three quarters... Yeah, I do have to get to bed by eight o'clock tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and you just want coffee, right? Sure. Yeah, it does look lighter when it's warm. 
Yeah, that's good. All Thank right, you, Jerry. Quite welcome. All right, shall we go have a seat? Yeah, yeah let's go make our way. It. All right. To the uh, studio and go sipping on the way. Okay. Okay, we're back in the studio and we have our Himalayan coffee. This one is Jalpa Gold from Nepal. It's uh, a medium roast whole bean grown with Himalayan snow melt water, hand picked and hand sorted. The Himalayan snow melt water. That's, I think they had me at that. Yeah. yeah. I think so. All right. So let's, uh, it's still nice and hot. All right. Yes. Here we go. Time to yeah. check it out. It's not bad. It could have been a little stronger. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so too. I'm tasting something a little nutty almost. I hear Himalayan snow water is a little nutty. <laughs> that was mm. that was sarcasm. <laughs> it's a joke, son. Don't you get it, son? Pretty good. I, th I feel yeah. like we, we probably should have brewed it stronger. Yeah, yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking too. Maybe yeah. less water. You know? Well, with that coffee maker, you're stuck with the amount of water. That's yeah, in. unfortunately. You adjust your beans. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's still good, though. Yeah, it is it's very good. good. Nice and smooth. Yeah. And I'm not sure what jasmine's supposed to taste like. I do uh, taste some spiciness in there. Yeah. 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 Do you get that? Even? I think I get that little hint there, too. Yeah. Not so much the, what was it, the pear? I don't Yeah, pear and um, uh, aroma. Oh, now see, this says intense aromas. Oh, and vibrant flavors. Oh, okay. Of jasmine, smooth caramel, and pears. Hmm. Like I said, I have no idea what jasmine is supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know either. I've had jasmine tea. Oh, yeah? And I, I don't know what to compare it to. It tastes like jasmine. Right. Know, but Are you tasting any of that here? Let me tell you. Mm. Another sip. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, overall, it's very good. I'll be very interested to try the other two varieties. I do as taste well. the jasmine. Do you really? I do. Yeah. That maybe is what I was tasting. I couldn't quite pinpoint. Right. You put your finger on it, huh? Mm -hmm. So they sent you a, a little info uh, there. They like did. The and, uh, uh, it is, let me see, they uh, are partnering with Plantech Coffee Estate in Nepal's largest coffee estate. Uh, and the owner, Yujal Rana is an adventurer at heart, a visionary that places environmental conservation and socioeconomic progress at the center of everything he does. For 25 plus years, he's been producing world-class coffee using sustainable farming practices, employing underprivileged women, and providing equal pay to the men and women he employs. Hmm. So very, nice. very good. And we'll have a, a, a link to this in the show notes. It's HimalayanCoffees.com where you can find out more about it. It is not inexpensive. But it is good. Yes, I agree. Although, Recommend you know, it. You probably could pay as much for that. It, it, it you know, with twenty five bucks for a twelve ounce. Right. There, that's probably a little bit steeper than Starbucks. But there are some domestic brands that I've seen that are in that ballpark price range. Mm. But not as expensive as the uh, Copy Luwak well, that we tried. With. <laughs> well, I, I forgot still, what we paid for. Still the... making payments. On yeah. That. <laughs> that was what three hundred dollars a pound or something. I think it was like that. Yeah, I only got like a four ounce bag and paid like thirty bucks or something like that. You know. But... <laughs> well, thanks to our friends at Himalayan Coffee Import. Thank you guys. Yeah.